What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're just gonna do an audit of real estate specific Facebook ads that I literally, I was scrolling through Facebook today, took a screenshot and thought that I could provide some value to you guys with things that I'm seeing real estate agents do pretty frequently. Uh, my wife and I are currently in the process of purchasing our first home and we are seeing a ton of ads pop up in the newsfeed and some are really good, some are atrocious, most are really bad, and most, um, if just a few simple tweaks, honestly, they could get a lot better results. Um, and to be fair, I don't know exactly what their results are. Uh, I'm assuming from my experience based on what I've done in the past with real estate agents uh, and mortgage loan officers that these are not doing very well and I don't see them come up time and again. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a few that actually are pretty decent and I, I'm going to show you one or two things that they can do differently to really increase the amount of leads that, are, that they're getting and increase the conversions on the back end. Okay, so this is the first ad um, that I saw. So um, it's not bad. This is actually a video. This is not the exact um exact image that they're using so it's a video all it is is the picture of the front of the home it goes into the open house it gives the exact address um, and then it goes it's straight into messenger so you can see here it's just literally send a message i think the uh, headline was simply open house saturday 2 to 4 p.m and so what they're doing well here is they've got a decent headline their um, their copy isn't bad i mean it's just the benefits of the features of the home right um, it's probably literally just copy and paste uh, from their MLS, but it's got everything in it, right? So there's no real intrigue into if they want to um, if they want to go to this open house, they could literally just screenshot that and go. Um, and that's not a bad strategy, but it's not great either because then you don't know, you don't have their information, right? So something that that they could have done better, what I personally would have done is I would create a either a messenger bot so that we can say, hey, uh, click here and I'll send you all of the information on the open house. And then you have them, right? You can send them a reminder. Uh, you know, this open house is on Saturday. So on Thursday, hey, we have an open house in two days. Make sure that you're there, 2 to 4 p.m. This is the address. Um, can't wait to see you, right? Um, and then on, on that Friday, she could have said, hey, 24 hours, can't wait to see you open house, <coughs> excuse me, open house, uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Um, at X, you know, address there. So um, that's what I would have done on the first end of things. And then on the second thing that she could have done is instead of the messenger, she could have sent them to just an event page where it is an open house event that has the address and it can, you can say if you are going or not going, or if you're interested or not interested. And then she's got a good idea of how many people are coming. She can do that same thing within that event page. And she can uh, shoot out a post or a video or whatever on that event page. So ideally for an open house, what I would personally do, what I've done with real estate agents in the past and works really, really well, is I would do a messenger bot that would send them to that event page, right? So uh, instead of saying open house and then giving all the information here, what I would say is open house Saturday, two to 4 p.m. Um, I would have a call to action. I would say, hey, uh, tap the learn more button below and I'll send you all the details uh, of the open house, price, location, uh, time, all that stuff. And then I would have the features of the home in bullet point list so there's, it's easier to read than this paragraph. And then I would have that same call to action at the bottom. Uh, you know, tap learn more and I'll send you all the information via messenger, price, location, uh, time, all that stuff, right? And then I'll send them into messenger so that I can grab them. Uh, you can also do an email list. I like messenger because there's a bigger response rate. There's, there's more people that open. There's more people that click through. It's just, it's just better uh, numbers for us, right? And then I would send them to that event page. That would be the information that I'm giving them. And then they can, they can say if they're interested or not. And then what I can do is I can do both. I can do uh, messenger reminders. I can do event page reminders. And what's cool about both is they're going to get notifications for those, right? 
and you want to get as many people to that open house as possible. So that is the first campaign. The second is this another open house, right? Uh, and this is a good one, right? You can do multiple open houses in the same day. The problem with this is, um, you know, she's they've got really good homes, beautiful homes. Um, I would have a less text. I would probably do a, a slideshow version, uh, either through video or I would do a carousel with multiple of these listings. And then all the all they're doing is they literally have their name with their company and send a message and nothing happens in that send message, right? It's just super generic, right? So do a carousel, do an engaging uh, video, photo, uh, multiple photos type of deal. I would do the same uh, copy that I showed you before in the open house prior and make that engaging, right? And you can do, uh, you know, the mass open house, right? Where you have multiple open houses uh, you know the, the huge showing where you're you're doing five open houses in one day and You just hop from one to the other. That's what I would personally do as well So that's that's you know you're, the first thing that people are going to see is that image or photo So you've got to have you got to knock that out of the park. The second thing is the headline That has to, that's the second thing that people are going to see that has to be spot-on and then they're going to go look at the copy so both of these are lacking I would imagine and they don't have a conversion mechanism so this is all out of whack. And then this one uh, is just terrible because it's, you know, there's no call to action. There's no, it's just Allen Holmes for sale. Uh, if I wanted to go and look for Allen Holmes for, sa for sale, I'd probably just search in Google or Zillow or Realtor.com, right? Um, so there's no call to action. Really, there's no, it just takes them to their website, which is also something that I see a lot of agents do. And there, you've got to have a conversion mechanism. A landing page, lead capture page is one. Lead forms or lead generation objective within Facebook is two. And then messenger is another conversion mechanism. So you've got to have one of those three things to be successful with your Facebook ads. And this, this whole ad uh, needs to be canceled immediately. And then lastly, this is actually a good ad, really good copy. Looking to buy a home in the Little Elm area, click learn more to see it. new construction homes conveniently located near Lake Louisville starting at 260. Man, I'm already interested in that. I'm looking for a home. Uh, I would be interested in new construction homes near a lake. That sounds amazing. 100% financing available. Uh, with my knowledge, we probably couldn't qualify, but that's amazing, right? I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Um, and then they've got a little bit of a uh, scarcity thing, right? So they're, they will start to get snatched up fast, so hurry. Um, and then I would personally have another click more to get more information, a call to action at the bottom. But the headline's really good. This home is really, is really nice in Texas. Um, so I would definitely click or learn more. The problem here with this ad, and I clicked through on this, it's just a generic sent message. There's no messenger bot. There's no conversation after the click. So the conversion mechanism isn't that great, right? We're not creating a list. We're not uh, communicating fast enough with our leads. Um, so while the ad is doing great, and I'm sure I actually think she's probably doing business with this, um, she could do a little bit better with just, just including a messenger bot to qualify her leads, to follow up with her leads, and to follow up long term with her leads instead of having to manually go in messenger and do that, right? So that's the last one, guys. If you like this, uh, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the ads are, what your thoughts are on uh, this whole video. I, I would love to do this uh, maybe once every other week or so. Um, and you guys can send these to me, uh, send me your own ads and I can do, you know, Facebook ad audits of your own ads. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Cause my goal here guys is to help you in your business. Um, and by doing that, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel that helps me help you. Okay. So click the subscribe button, click the bell. So you get notified when new videos are released. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.